24 year old Anton Possible Mapako was a street fighter and drug user from this poor suburb of Mbare. But he says things have changed since he joined the Mosquito Boxing School of Excellence. And he credits the school's founder and coach, Jenica Arifonso. I always say thank you, coach, when I started to say this statement. Why? Because I know he's not just a teacher of boxing, but he can change even your mind. Uh, about uh, the bad things you think to do, it can change you. 44-year-old Alfonso started the academy after he left boxing. As a fighter, he was known as Mosquito for the way he would sting his opponents. Now, his focus is on helping troubled youths. I mean, this project, because I wanted to, to remove uh, kids uh, from uh, drug abuse and uh, womanizing, and stealing because there's a lot of crimes which are committed by these young guys. Alfonso now has about 120 students divided into three groups per day. He hopes some become professional boxers. Zimbabwe government says substance abuse among youths is a scourge that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. We are working with law enforcement agents to try and uh, curb uh, you know, illicit substances coming into the country. Um, and in terms of demand, we are working you know, to try and educate members of the public um, in, around the dangers of uh, you know, engagement in illicit um, you know, substance abuse. Alfonso is working to set up programs in other poor townships and pull more youths away from drugs. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News, Arare, Zimbabwe. <laughs>